How's it everybody? This is the erroneous one here with a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video. Today it is indeed an update video, but more importantly, in my opinion right at the moment, let me see, there we go, that's better lighting for us now. Uh, more importantly from my point of view at the moment, I am on a new phone. Finally. For all of you who've been following me for a longest while, wow, for some reason I just realized that it says Happy New Year in the background. I mean, I saw the Christmas tree, so I was thinking still Christmas themed stuff, which is kind of strange. But now it's happening. Yeah, ignore me. Um, I got a new phone from the guys. I now am the proud owner of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And by the way, guys, this phone is all kinds of beastly. It can do a lot more than I initially thought, so I'm going to be trying to expand out on some things I can do in my videos with it in conjunction with my streaming app uh, and my recording app. So, it's going there, but more importantly, as many you guys have been following me for the longest while know, Gummy Copter Fleets. Gummy Copter Fleets caused me in the past to lag horribly. I mean, the lag was real, guys. The lag was... The lag was... The lag was inconsolable <laughs> many times. Um, did not like. <laughs> but that's gone now. I've already gone and tested it. There is no lag anymore um, with Gummy Copter Fleets. It all works just fine. So, this is great. The, uh, the only thing I had to work on is getting a new case for my phone so I can get my phone set up a little better to get the camera angle better off from that one, but we're taking care of it for there. But, I just want to share with you guys, I mean, that's not the point of the video, but it's something to share with you guys, I like knowing that it's been looking for for a long while, so, that will get fixed, so we're awesome for that, guys. Uh, let's see, these notices. Uh, we got some notices the other day, some, I won't say hefty ones, but they're interesting ones. Uh, the key point of this one, of course, is going to be the, uh, Magic Broom and Key Art 14 VIP quest. I find this funny, um, mainly because, uh, I don't know, it seems like... I think maybe one exception, maybe. But it seems like whenever we get the uh, the Magic Broom VIP portion, we don't get anything else in it. For some reason. I don't know why. You know, we, if we get the Mirror one, you know, the Mirror one came partnered with, like, the Chip and Dale thing and, like, the uh, the Super EXP one and, and some other things as well. Uh, I mean, granted, we, we have it with, with the VIP. That's good. But, I mean, I don't know. I think the Mirror one also came with, came with like, the, the two gems per going through quest and everything. That VIP quest as well. Uh, it's just kind of strange that we aren't getting that. Um, I don't know. I mean, hopefully that changes in the future. But it's something I kind of noticed. Um, I only really noticed it uh, earlier as well because I did watch a uh, Smelly Octopus's video and he made mention of it. And when I was like, really? And then I thought about it, I was like, wow, you know what? You're kind of right. So it is kind of strange they do that. But, I mean, it's still good VIP mainly because of the VIP itself. Um, the VIP itself isn't anything, you know, spectacular. I mean, it raises uh, upright strength by one tier um, and PSM defense by two tiers for one turn, HP carry by three. So it is a defensive metal that also buffs your upright. So if you didn't have like a Days Riku or a, a HD Final from Sora, I feel like I'm missing one. Not counting, not counting cats. I really feel like I'm missing one, but I think it's just those three at the moment. These three at the moment. Maybe these three. Um, there aren't any other single t uh, single tier upright um, buff metal. Oh God, that's wrong. Okay, either way, it's only two or three aside from this one. So this, this, this right here makes it either three or four. Um, but he is a defensive metal. So, for instance, if you're running around uh, with a keyblade trying to turtle against the enemy, for instance, you can utilize this one in conjunction with, like, you know, HE's Exion, uh, the, a, uh, the HPO metal, um, the PTR metal. Um, HPO is Hainer, Pin, Select. Uh, PTR is Pooh, Tigger, and Rue. Um... There are other options. It's an added option for turtling mode, you know, because it does raise your PSN defense by two tiers for a turn. Obviously, you'd want to get extra attack on this guy, so you can get four buffs for one. But on the flip side of two, um, this is really only going to be useful if those of you who did not pull or were not able to get um, PTR or HPO for whatever reason, uh, guilty with attack or anything, um, it won't hold that much use for you on the whole for the most part, except potentially for the upright buff, maybe? You can utilize that one as well. <laughs> the motor power, sorry guys, I'll just again. Uh, the multiplier on it isn't like super super amazing, but it's not bad. It, it can deal some damage. It is a uh, tier seven, so that's not bad at all. It is a two hundred percent guilt one and a four gauge cost. So while he's not anything super spectacular on his own, um, in a way he's almost kind of almost outdated already up to a point. Mine, if it weren't for the fact of the upright buff, I would say he is outdated, but he does have an upright buff on him. Um, but mainly it's you're gonna get the three thousand jewels plus again the four hundred jewels from doing playing these missions. And that will give you uh, a total of 4,400 jewels. In conjunction to that, we also still have that amazing banner going on at the moment. And if you guys are getting from it, uh, if you guys already have uh, pulled five times, then you're already at that 1,900 uh, jewels per pull uh, limit. And that will give you two pulls flat out automatically right there. So that's not too bad. And again, this doesn't worth pulling on. So 
Not a bad year to get that VAP <clears throat> if you're able to. <laughs> See, we got it again. Uh, Magic Brooms are there. KO14 is there. Jewels are there. Not bad. Uh, so there's that. Uh, going through, uh, we also got the weekly gym class right here. Uh, now we get to use the Olympic Keyblade, so we'll be doing that video uh, coming up pretty soon. Um, again, I do like the fact that uh, it's kind of like Proud The The weekly gym class have now turned into like Proud Member versions of them where you're uh, restricted to certain Keyblades. The only other, uh, so far anyway, so far, the only difference in that one is they have not um, limited us into what terms of metals we can use. Like, you know, use 5 reverse, or use only one, or use metals that have X amount of like an attack, or X amount of gauges used, you know, that, that kind of thing. I haven't hit us yet. So far, it's just keyboards and stuff. So, going for that one. Uh, the biggest one that I think is here so far is going to be the Gear Golem Daily Rain event. I do like this event. Um, you can earn jewels and Falling Snow Avatar parts uh, from a Daily Rain event. Uh, so you can get a power gem and a magic gem in this one. You can get the little snowflakes flying uh, around you as well. It does give you the rare enemy perk plus two. Uh, it's going to be like the, the autumn leaves or the uh, disco lights or the, the musical notes flying around you, which is pretty cool. Uh, the daily raid event is going to work like usual in terms of you get only get the event coins for those boards every five levels. So 5, 10, 15, 20, and the levels will reset every day as it's part of the norm, that kind of thing. The plus side of this one. It is going to last all day. Raid, this time, the Gear Golem Raid Boss will appear all day during the above event period. There are no set times for this one. And they do it because, as an apology for the difficulties experienced by some players during the last Raid event, which I think they did uh, some kind of maintenance at some point in time there uh, during one of them, during one of the days. And then there's also another issue where it was down, or I forget what it was exactly, but it, it interfered with other players able to do this. So, this is a way of saying sorry and doing it all day long, which is very cool um, because. These boards do take a while. Um, my party finished the boards for the most part. I think I think for the most part, everybody in our party has got the boards set up. I got the boards finished a little while ago myself because I was at work all day long. Um, but if you have an active party, if your party is active and help and uh, taking those raid buses down, getting them up for you guys, I think you know after a day or two at most, you know most players should be able to if they have an active party, if they have an active party, should be able to get all the boards taken care of and everything leveled up and ready to go. Um, I don't think there's any. Uh, super rewards, right? For um, uh, rewards. Let's see. No, just regular things. So just like you know, again, you didn't lose. I want that to change. I mean, let's change that one. Uh, and of course, the, the coins, which will be pretty much worthless now, considering everybody cares that he has those. You know, unless you're a new player, getting those avatar boards are left. Then what's left? So I shouldn't say they're worthless. Um, but that's pretty much it. I going through. There's no like you no know, raid event or anything for like. Anything, any extra skills or gems or anything, it's just, you know, the business as usual for the great bosses or anything. Again, good event to go through, um, good prices to get through, you get magic mirrors, you can get four magic mirrors, uh, per, uh, per board. So let's see, um, Okay, so here you go. Wait a minute. Um, so yeah, you're gonna get uh, four magic mirrors. You're gonna get some SIDs. Um, you're gonna get, of course, the power gem and the magic gem, and of course the jewels. So you're getting get a total of um, 50 jewels per board. So for a total of 100 plus the 30 from doing the quest, so that you get a total of 133 jewels, which is nice. You get a gem. You get mirrors. I mean, this, this is actually a, a pretty cool little thing. It's just kind of tacking something having to go through and do that because each raid boss is only going to need about like 22 um, coins. So, and I think you need about like 300, 300 coins or so, 300, like that, 330-ish, maybe like that, for, uh, per board, I, I believe it was, um, in order to get them to, well, maybe, actually, it might be one, I, I might be 500. Sorry, guys, I'm all kinds of just, like, not here right now anymore. Uh, it's, been, it's been a long day for me. Um... Between 300 and 500 coins is what you need to get this done. Uh, of course, as you guys know, if you're in the comments down below, they can put it in the comment for the uh, other viewers to see. I'd appreciate it, because I just forget off of my head. But it can be kind of time consuming, but it can get done. You see that on an active party. So, pretty cool, small little event thing. Uh, nothing's very bad, because more often than not, a Monday updates aren't anything huge for the most part. The biggest ones always going to happen on Thursday, which coincides in time for the weekend. Not whatever, as usual. So, I imagine this weekend, you might see potentially a new high score challenge. Um, and a new banner coming through more than likely. But, that's it guys. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Coming out pretty soon after I eat, I'll be doing the newest weekly gym challenge with the Olympic Keyblade. So, 
Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. See ya.